Hello, welcome to Sailing Soleil. My name's Andy. And in this episode, we are gonna head from LA Harbor to White Cove on Catalina Island, where we'll spend the night on the hook. Then our final destination is Pyramid Cove on San Clemente Island. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing because I've got a ton of videos I'm dying to show you. Okay, I'm back on Keel Dragger. We're headed to San Clemente Island and we're gonna stop at White Cove first or Moonstone Cove. Got Mark at the helm, Captain Bunch. And uh, we're gonna put the main up here in the harbor before we pull out. And we're looking at about 13 knots of wind apparent right now, but we're going downwind, so it's about 15 knots of wind, I think. So we'll see how that maybe goes. A little more natty, but... Yeah, maybe, maybe 18 to 20 once you get well, out we're there. We're doing 6.7 downwind. Oh. Yeah, so you're going to see more wind when we turn around here, for sure. Open up the main sheet, please. Main sheet or main halyard? Main sheet. Okay. Kill Dragger has one of those super fancy electric winches. Okay, it's awesome. Put that way still clear. Keep it running. Stay with. Uh, a little more. Okay. Stop. Now I'm going I'm to go ahead and turn to the port. Ease that main out. Okay. Keep it out. Keep it going out. As we come around. Looks like my GoPro is frozen. That got me. Oh shit. That's yeah, alright. Alright, I've been getting footage. <laughs> okay. How is it on the spreaders up there? You can probably let it out a little bit more, right? Yeah, I think so. It's not touching. All right, you can go ahead and clip it down for now. You can close both of those clutches. Nice work, dude. See how easy that is when you don't have the thing wrapped around those stupid mast tubs? <laughs> matter with you oh we're good we're still going ah. now uh we got some more sails to put up here but i think we can we'll wait till we get out maybe the harbor it doesn't really matter at this point it's like it's clear behind us mostly we're motor sailing at the moment doing uh 6.7 with what is it 17 apparent yeah yeah, so um, and we're kind of going with the wind quite a bit, so we've got some pretty good wind here. Yeah, it's going to get sporty. We'll, we'll decide once we get rolling whether we want full canvas out or whether we want to reef or whatever. If we're dialed in, well, this wind holds up. We know we got about, what time is it? Probably two hours, an hour and a half before the wind's gone? Maybe. <laughs> So we can roll this head sail out as soon as you're ready. I lost my crew. And then at, at your leisure, whenever you're ready, let's start uh, rolling that sucker. Um, I'd pull with your hand first, see if you can All right, keep it coming. It went out all the way. That's it. Yeah, you got to pull it in with the winch. Mm -hmm. Just before. Yeah. And then you want to keep it off the spreader. So watch. Uh, keep it off the shroud up there. Okay, hold it there for now. Let's uh, let's go ahead and pull your staysail in. You mean out? Yeah, on your left, uh, right there. Keep her coming. That's getting pretty tight right there. Uh, that's probably pretty good. Also, your line isn't on the block actually what well that line's gonna chafe if we leave it like that you see how it's not through the sheet block 
It's like on the side. All right. Yeah, my friend Patrick probably fucked that up. Well, don't worry about that for now. Okay. Let's uh, pull in the slack on the starboard one. All right. So I want to depower this a little bit. Yeah. He's got these fucking things powered way the fuck up. I mean. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. What's that? The VHF handheld. Grab that if you would. I'm going to put it in here. Good. Yeah, boy. Okay, so this motherfucker is sailing right now. Woo. So these cars on the... Yep, the... Christ. See this one right here? He's got this fucking thing all the way fucking back. <laughs> the problem is, is he knows what he's doing more than me. But I don't know what the, where the f*** they were before he moved them. I had him dialed in. I'm going to lock her a little. tighten it up and that'll that'll take a little power out of it yeah you need the fucking handle you're not gonna, i know i know you're not gonna muscle it well your shit is like you got all this power shit and i'm like not used to it do you have self tailing i do i know how okay. these work yeah all right well now quit fucking micromanaging you <laughs> i guess i'll just shut the fuck up <laughs> that guy's towing i think yeah boy So this is the scene, a quarter till four. Angel's gate behind us. It uh, looks like a tug. They're towing that barge or whatever. And we're, we're about uh, right on the ley line right now for White Cove. So this is perfect. We're getting uh, 20 knots apparent. And we're on, we've got full canvas. We can actually, Probably flatten things out and do a hair better actually if we if we uh, reduce canvas a bit, but I don't care. Uh, I, I think the wind's gonna die down a little bit. I, do so too. I don't think it's worth reefing. But what are we seeing? I mean, you know, we're seeing high sixes, sevens. And she just pulling in a little. Alright. Tighten her up. Good. 
which is kind of exactly where we want to be there. That's one thing I don't know much about is sail shape. Yeah. And how to how to manage that. And honestly, the the way that you learn that um, racing is racing. <laughs> Happy St. Patty's Day, Mark. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Woo. Cheers, everybody. Okay. All right. So we're still headed towards um, Moonstone Cove right now. We still got 15 knots of wind apparent and we're doing seven and a half knots. I would say we're about halfway to Catalina right now. I do actually. Man, look at how nice this is. This is great. Try to block the wind if I can. The island in the background right there. We still got plenty of light, so I'm pretty sure we'll get in before dark. And it's gonna be great. And then I heard that the island's really green, so I'm looking forward to seeing that because of all the rain we've had. But uh, check out the boat. Going down for something. Maybe it'll ring a bell when I get there. Anyways, we're still gonna go down because it's fun to go. The sun going down or, you know, get behind the clouds, it cools off a little bit. We're gonna go down and see what it's like underway. We're still in the mid to high sun. Well, <laughs> look at that. You can see how much we're healed over right there. This boat is going so fast. We're in the one of the busiest ports in the shipping lanes here, so you hear a lot of traffic from all the commercial boats. There it is. It's a little tricky. Oh. <laughs> this was it. This is the life. This is the life. Woo. On the main a little bit. All right. At your leisure, no hurry. I mean, yeah, we're we're still cruising in the mid sevens here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop. Let me. Uh, I'm turning now. You want me to let it out? Yeah, go ahead and ease it out a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. I pull it in a little bit. A little bit more. Uh, one more. Okay, lock it.
you ready for me to take her off to win? Yeah. Okay. Heading up. Hang on. Get ready? Yes, sir. Stay out and see when. Dump it! <laughs> what are the slowest ways possible to do that? <laughs> hey, that, that winch is the fastest. So what we'll do is we'll loosen it up, we'll do the top lift, or we'll put the boom crutch, but you can just you can just kind of wrap that around it any which way up. Oh, you this. don't want to pull it? No, I don't. Okay. I want to leave that slack. Yeah, I gotcha. This, um, you want to let it... And I'm just drifting, by the way. I'm in neutral. Okay. I'm just, I'm out of gear. So right now we're just assessing the anchoring situation. Mark is going to... Tell me what's up. Yeah, we're in 95 feet almost right here. So uh, we want to get a little bit closer. That's hen rock right there. You see that? See that darker rock there? Kind of by itself. It's right there if you can't yeah. see it. I think that's hen rock. At least that's what I've been calling it. Where's our depth? So we've got depth there on the left, we're at 96.3 feet. And right now I'm just drifting just to get our speed slowed down. I mean, I can, you know, I can back it in reverse and all that. But what I want to do is I want to get to our spot where we're going to drop anchor. And then, uh, and then we'll kind of let the wind drift us back a little bit. Okay. This is like if you had a range finder where I would be looking at like the rocks and what's the range to the, you know, to the rocks and stuff like that. We're trying to use my range finder for the first time to see how far away we are from these rocks. Looks like it's on, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, that's a fun a little 224.5 yards. That's not a thousand feet, is it? Might be further than you think. No, that can't be right. That can't be. 650 feet? Yeah. I could see that being 200 yards, 200 and... Okay. Yeah. Right on. Okay, I've got this range finder from Amazon. I've never used it before, but I'm reading. We are 200 yards from that white rock and 226 yards from the one to its left. So that's pretty cool be able to check your distance from shore and let's see how close to shore we are actual shore because the boats are over there it says 445 yards we're gonna drift back pretty far once we drop the hook and this right, is grab that uh, grab that pole and this is technically white coat yeah, White Cove, it's like Hen Henrock's over to starboard, Moonstone's over to port. Okay. So now we're coming up on head to wind. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and we're starting to stall. Let's meet up the front. Hand me that. There you go. Since we've dropped it, our, our stern has kind of whipped around al current. almost maybe to the direction. Maybe a little current here, but we're doing okay. Okay, there's another 25. Okay, that's, that's it. Now let's pull in. Gonna wrap around the show outside. Us your, show us this number here. Let me see what you got. Yeah, so it's, oh shit. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> to show you what not to do <laughs> put the lid on that for now yeah it's just a it's a mantis uh this is a three eighths inch snubber shackle or whatever and there's, there's just two lines nylon triple braid uh what is this half inch three eighths half inch half inch um 
just absorbs the shock load so that the the winch and the you know it doesn't have to absorb that we're starting to get some load on the chain now so it's good to do this now so we'll... what's this guy called see the hauser yeah keep a little tension on it because i'm a little a little bit more chain out just because this rope likes to slip on that big cleat okay and that's good cleat that off so now i'm gonna idle reverse Give it some juice. Time for a brewski and anchor watch. <laughs> Doesn't look like we're moving to me. All right, we're not. We're good. Okay, so this is technically my first time anchoring on Catalina Island, and will be my first night sleeping on the hook. So that's kind of a cool experience. I guess that's it, huh? The island is super green and lush. Catalina Island is technically a desert island, so it's really nice to see it green like this after all the rain that we've had lately. All right, we are anchored here at White Cove on Catalina Island. And I just wanted to come out here and show you before it gets a little too dark to see anything. And I'm sure we'll get some footage in the morning, but um, check it out, it's gorgeous. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, we haul up anchor and head to one of the most remote anchorages in California, Pyramid Cove on San Clemente Island. See you then.